What's up, folks? It's Justin Charnell here from justincharnell.com. Got a question asking me how to collect emails for email marketing, for your campaigns, for your flows, for your newsletter, whatever. This is strictly an online thing, strictly for your website, not doing like um, in real life events, the fishbowl, business card thing. Um, not doing anything like that, strictly on your website or similar websites. I'm also going to be in go, uh, going in order, not from the most volume as far as the most email signups, but from the most engaged signups to the least engaged, but maybe higher volume. So the very first, the easiest way is if you're running an e-commerce store, the people that buy from you. Like, I can't imagine a store in, in you know in the last 10 years and moving forward that wouldn't require a email address either to sign up or to finish placing your order you know you might be able to sign up with like a Google account or a Facebook account but to actually get your receipts and all that get your shipping um, you know ticket um, get your remittance whatever you need they're gonna need to send it to an email address and those are your customers. So those are those people that have already bought for you. Buyer psychology says if somebody bought from you once, they're probably gonna buy from you again. You're gonna have that's gonna be your most engaged list because they're looking for, you know, if a, if it's if a, if the product lasts 30 days and it's 28 days later, they're almost expecting something to come from you saying, hey, you know, your your protein powders almost ran out. Here's a here's a re up. Here's a coupon. Here's a five dollar off coupon. And buy it again. Why? We know you're almost out, and they're going to buy again from you. They're also going to open any kind of newsletter that you got going on. Just something like any sales. They're going to open that because they already bought from you. They're going to buy from you again. They already trusted you enough. A with their email address and B with with giving you money. You provided so much value that they gave you money. That's 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 a surefire sign that you're doing something right. So. Those guys are going to be engaged. They're going to be opening. They're going to be reading. They're going to be clicking back to your website and buying again. Two is an opt-in that does not have a something given in return for an email address. It is strictly a sign up for our newsletter. That's it. No downloads, no giveaways, no coupon codes. Just sign up for our newsletter. That means you, you know, if you have articles, you provide so much value in those articles that those people like your stuff so much that they are just giving you access to their inbox. They're saying, please, in the future, contact me, distract me. I want to hear from you. Those guys will open every email you ever send. No, not 100%, but they'll open their emails, they'll read them, they'll engage with them, they'll share them, they'll click back to the site, eventually become customers if they were not before. If it's a content site, they're gonna come back and read and share, you know, get those impressions on the advertisements, click over the affiliate links. They're gonna be huge advocates because like I said, you're not trying to persuade them to join. You're, they're, they're just joining on their own free will. Great people have an email list. And then next is the people that do opt in for something, for a coupon code, for a, a digital download for a, a link to a, a file, you know, a, a sexy spreadsheet, something that's given in return, an ebook. Those people are going to be, they're going to be engaged. Some of them are going to be engaged. Some of them are going to come on, just look at whatever you got going on there. If it's something for free, they're going to see it. They might get value on it. They can say, I don't care. Like, this is, this is what I came for. I don't care about the emails you're going to send. I don't care about your newsletter. I don't care about your, Anything else? All I wanted was this ebook. I got it. Thank you. I'm out. Bye. Thanks. Now, if your branding's on point, then they'll probably remember you. Keep you know, they may come back in the future. Great. However, I, I wouldn't expect you know the most engaged customer or subscriber that you had to, for lack of better words, bribe to give them your email to give you their email address but that's that and the fourth i'd say you're gonna get a lot of emails but a lot of them are just gonna be either not engaging or straight up fake is doing some kind of contest or giveaway 
And the thing with these are, they're so easy to game as far as signing up multiple email addresses, fake referrals, you know, being basically a referral for yourself if you want to, you know, if you're doing like a ticket system where you draw and then for every referral you get an additional three tickets. So you got to really do your due diligence and really look at that right before you, you do the drawing to make sure, you know, the last two minutes that some somebody, you know, wherever just all of a sudden you get 400 additional signups in two minutes all at the same exact time, all from the same IP address, all from the same location all referring the same exact email address because it's probably someone trying to game the system. What's, what's going to happen then is you're going to try to send those people emails and they're, you know, this has happened to me where I was like, oh, cool, look at all these email addresses that, that came in. And then I get, I'm getting responses saying, hey, I don't know whatever, my, my email address was hacked. I'm getting these emails, blah, blah, blah. Can you unsubscribe me? It's like, damn. So that happens. Um, also, if you're doing a giveaway, you don't want to do something general because there's, like I said, a lot of bots. There's a lot of spam that if you're trying to give away a, a Visa gift card or an Amazon gift card or something that anybody will want, you're going to have a bad time. You're going to get a whole lot of people signing up that don't give a damn about what you got going on. They just want the prize. So you want to keep your prize you know you give away your contest whatever you want to make it incredibly niche specific to the point where it's like almost like people in the niche would you know they might not want to sign up just because they either might have it already or it's just like way too specific um i don't know if you're if you're out there selling uh selling protein powder and you want to run a giveaway, don't do a giveaway for, like I said, Amazon gift card, $100 Amazon gift card. All you got to do is sign up and, and that's it. You're going to get a bunch of spam. You do something like wrist straps, something, uh, a, a, a supplement stack, you know, a whole $100 protein, creatine, multivitamin, you know, some beginner stack. You're going to get a whole lot more people that are signing up that care about something like that if that makes sense and then you're gonna have people that aren't gonna sign up that like oh i already have my supplements i don't need i don't need this basic stack i'm on steroids you know like whatever um so those are like the four kind of real ways to get subscribers for email list in the order from most engaging to least your paying customers your opt-in less opt-ins like newsletter opt-ins your bribe opt-ins where you're offering them something in exchange for an email address and then like a coupon or not a coupon but a giveaway or a uh, contest so that's how you grow your email list use it don't abuse it peace